Hello again, everyone. Back uh, at it. Actually, this video is quite a few weeks overdue. Um, I thought I posted this video and then realized I <laughs> it was just sitting in my uh, my inbox uh, waiting to be posted, and it never actually went through. So here it is. Uh, there'll be another one that comes shortly after this one. Uh, but as you can see here, we are, or I am working on the um, the lower instrument panel um, plate, which, you know, this panel has a lot going on with it. So not only do all of your uh, your electronics from your instrument panel will be mounted to this, but also it um, connects the front end of the fuselage. So the two Longerons get uh riveted to this plate as well as um your canopy uh assembly mount you know mount assemblies and your forward firewall as well as your upper engine mount so a lot going on here uh took me a while to get through all this um which was okay because you know I'm winding down on the fuselage now i'm actually as you're seeing in this video i'm actually completely done with the fuselage uh, so it's sad, but uh, I'm looking forward to getting the wings in and getting to work on those. But a lot of prep work with these uh, canopy rib assemblies. There are several nut plates that I have to get um, you know, riveted on with solid rivets. That will, the cover that goes over the uh, avionics uh, actually screws into the, both sides of those as well as your uh your forward your your firewall uh, on the front so <clears throat> getting this whole piece prep deburred a lot of sharp edges on here um a lot just you know there's going to be places where wires and cables are coming through so paying particular attention to make sure that everything there is um, nice and smooth we don't have any sharp edges I tell you, you really, as you go through and start working in some of the tighter spaces, you really find out very quickly where, um, you know, you miss the spot deburring because you end up with cuts just everywhere. I have cuts all over my hands and I've gone back several times and had to just, just check everything over, re deburr or, you know, deburr a spot that I missed or, you know, a lot of that happens especially when you're putting in fuel lines and starting to run wires and cables and small hoses through the fittings, through um, just some of these tight spaces when you start working in the fuselage. But getting that deck plate put on now, um, just so we just drilled uh, drilled it into the longerons and then click it in place. And starting the rivet process to get these uh, canopy rib assemblies mounted on. And a relatively simple process. Um, you find out here, you know, whether or not your bins and your longerons are spot on. Um, and in this case, um, I had no issues with mine. Everything lined up perfectly. So, uh, but yeah, I can see very quickly, um, or very easily how, how quickly you find out whether or not your longerons are correct. Cause that, that plate is either going to hang over on one side or the other or in both, or, you know, not be long enough to, to sit perfectly flat on on both of your laundry on so got that all in drilled in place and um starting on the oil can i guess bracket assembly which mounts uh, right here on the front i actually thought this whole thing would be uh, assembled prior to you uh riveting it onto the uh the fuselage but i know you actually uh, rivet rivet it together in pieces um onto the fuselage, so if that makes any sense. But everything's just winding down. A uh, buddy of mine took me up for a flight uh, in his 182. Thanks, Tim. I had a great time. It's nice to get out and fly. Um, even though I didn't do any flying, I was just a passenger, but it was still nice to get up and go out. See you all soon.